right? Pass and catching. Look, uh, some of you are going to be ready for this and some of you are not. But if you are, there's not a better drill than your two-man stick work drill. Literally, if you did this stuff all day long and that's all you did, you'd have good lacrosse players. Start it out with shuffle quick sticks. It's the best warm-up. I don't care whether you're a pro or, or a fifth grader, you got to do this. Three-man weave quick sticks. Quick sticking, I can't stress it enough, the importance of have, giving with it, being able to slow your quick stick down if need be. This looks kind of like a rat's nest because it's a weave, but there's, this is actually a three-man weave with quick sticks. Two-man passing, you can't beat this either. Hands high, one cradle, look up the field, down and back. I mean, you know, again, I, I, this, this, this is my high school team from last year. We did this ad nauseum. We literally did this probably as more than as much or more than any team in the country over the course of the five years. And it's one of the reasons why we had great sticks because we did this nonstop. Once you start getting a little bit more skilled, you can start working on behind the backs. Why wouldn't you? Are we not? Why wouldn't we try to develop the best players in the world? And the way I look at it is we should be. And the way I look at it is behind the back is the skill that somebody along the way decided was like fancy instead of fundamental. Well, in hockey, your backhand is, is, is as fundamental as anything else. It should be in, in, lacrosse, in, in lacrosse, too. Wind up, face dodge, backhand. Wind up, face dodge, backhand. We're just going to crank through reps. Three man, no weave. Again, you could, you could do this for two hours. Now, your kids, if you're not catching and throwing well yet, you're not going to do this. We've got, we've got some more drills that are going to teach you the reps and the touches, but throwing and catching on the run, you just can't get enough of it, and, um, and, 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 and I don't care whether you're a pro, or, like I said, or a first grader. This is one of the best drills going, circle passing, where you just run in a circle. Here the girls are going stick to the outside, stick to the inside, and we're actually working on some dodges. Wind up, face dodge, pass it. Wind up, look back, face dodge, pass it. You can work on every single pass. You can work on every single move in these drills. Throwback line drills. Is, 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 is a, you get three kids to a group and you can work on question marks. Here we're working on rockers and question marks. Rocker, question mark. Rocker, question mark. Three kids at a time. You can do this all day and you can like get better at stuff. It's keep away. This is one of the best things you can do. Two on one, keep away. This teaches you how, this is like a finishing drill, you guys. You gotta throw it around a stick. Is it, you gotta be able to fake and throw and reach and wrap and you can do this with ground balls if you can't throw and catch and what a great way of scaling your reps because you can do this with groups all over the field at one time where everybody's running around everybody's getting open okay oops hold on a second you can do this you can do this with your passing and your catching as well and you can see that here we got, we got a few girls banging the ball around, getting open, and we have a little 10 by 10 box here. Again, I mean, you, you, I, I got some stats on this. The stats are remarkable when you do keep away games. And if you're not, if you're not great at throwing and catching, uh, but you're good enough to practice it, you need to do keep away and scale your reps. Here's keep away ground balls um, with, with, some, with some older kids. And what you start learning how to do is doing these little throws. It's actually, it becomes easier to kind of fake and use your backhand because it's a little bit more deceptive. And the kids start learning how to do this. And this is like, this is like gold. And they start learning how to fake. Uh, here we're doing picks. This is Nations look. You know what Nations is? You know, we, we watched a little bit of those six Nations. That, that Nations is when you set a pick for the ball, you pass it, and then you pass to the picker. So watch this. You're going to see a pick for the ball. You're going to see a pass right off of it, and then you're going to see a pass to the picker. Let's try this one more time. Pass, and then pass to the picker. Let's see if we can get a good rep here. Pick, pass, and then pass to the picker. What a great concept to be able to do. You can, I'm telling you, as soon as you got kids that are sort of fifth, sixth grade, you're going to be able to do this. How about this? This is tight. This is tight shovel and backhand keep away. What an awesome way to be able to like learn how to get quick and slick with your stick. Now, 
when you're talking about little kids that can't catch and throw, you're not going to be ready for this. But when you get a little bit older, you can. All right, so look at the stats here. That, these drills that you were just watching, all these ones where it's these girls on this turf field, we did keep away for 15 minutes with – we had one sub. And um, look at the amount of touches these kids – this is the touches of one player. We counted the touches of one player. They got 68 – she got 68 touches, 27 passes and 28 rolls, 26 catches, 27 fakes. How awesome is that? I mean, that, that's Sandlot-esque right there. 